Sunday setup time. Even though I don't know when this will be posted, if it's gonna be posted on Sunday, because of Vlogmas, but I thought I'd just film today. Hopefully you can't hear the background music because I will get a copyright strike, but we're jamming in here. We had some praise and worship music going and now we got some oldies but goodies and now I'm making my family breakfast. Well, the girls ate earlier, but my husband and I are just now eating at 11.30 so they usually eat when we eat again. So let me go ahead and make them breakfast. All right y'all, so I'm in my car. Several hours have passed and I need to go to Kroger. I got my list on Google Keep. I'm gonna make chili tonight for dinner and I've gotta stop at Sherwin-Williams and pick up the paint that I need to paint my office. So that is the plan for today. So let's get into Kroger and get our groceries for the week. Girl, Kroger is packed and I have no idea what I'm gonna eat for the rest of the week. I think, let's just meal plan real quick. We're gonna have chili, hopefully tonight and tomorrow, and then I'm gonna pick up, mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Some more meats and we'll come up with something. We'll have a taco night. A pizza night. Let's see. Sunday, Monday, tacos, pizzas. Taco is a Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday's pizza. Thursday. You're on your own. I don't know. We should be fine. But I'll just see what what they have. Just pick up a bunch of meat and we'll come up with something, right? That's that's the kind of meal planning I'm doing lately. So let me get in here. The goldfish are still five for ninety nine cent. My girls love the pretzel one, so I'm gonna definitely get more of those. I was hoping my blue cheese would be on sale, but it's not, and I need more, and I don't have time to go to. Actually, it's cheaper to just get this instead of this. Usually I get this. This is like four something at Walmart. Here it's $6.29. This is $6.99 in the glass jar at Publix. Here it's $4.19, so I'm just gonna get some of this until I can get back to Walmart to get some of this, so I love this stuff. This little ornament decorating kit, they're cookies. My girls would love to do that. Something we can do next week after school as an activity. So I think I'm gonna pick it up. These are $7.99. They've gotta really stop with this marketing like this. Keto friendly, that's not true. This is seven net carbs in one slice. That's not really keto friendly, but nice try. It's a really good deal on the Barilla pasta. 10 for $10, $1 each, and you don't have to buy 10 to get it. So I'm gonna get some, stock up on our spaghetti. Girl Kroger is popping the day. Classico is on sale, 149 each. That's a good deal. I like, this is my favorite out of all the, you know, uh, normal grocery store brand. It doesn't have as many carbs, too. I really like Classico. I do like Bertoli as well, and that's on sale for 229. But this is a better deal, so I'm gonna stock up on the Classico. Well, they don't have much on the chicken front. I like to usually pick up Purdue. These aren't on sale this week. But I mean, the drums are pretty affordable, though, and the wings, but. I already have some wings in my freezer and drums, so I don't know. I need some ground turkey though. We're using ground turkey for the chili because my parents are eating it and they don't eat red meat. I might get a whole chicken to make later on this week. I'm just so lazy though when it comes to this kind of. It's just like, oh, I don't feel like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we gotta like clean the whole thing. Uh, let me think about that. These smoked turkey tails in the Instant Pot with some fresh green beans. Girl. Uh, Talk about delicious. So I'm gonna get some of these. The next time I go to Aldi, I'll get some more uh, fresh green beans. This is kind of high for little Smokies, aren't they? Such a small pack. I'm gonna get them, but I just think that's expensive. Oh, they have the Kroger brand that's a lot cheaper, two for five. Maybe I'll try that. They just look different. They look like hot dogs. To me, Smokies aren't hot dogs. It doesn't taste like hot dogs to me. Yeah, better stick with what I know which is these, I'll just get one pack. Girl, I've just been shopping and totally forgot that I'm supposed to be filming this as well. It's just so crowded in here, I'm just trying to like dip and dive and dip and dive. All right, so let me get some cheese for our, well first of all, I always get cheese, girl, but for the chili tonight. I'm gonna get this large pack of popcorn shrimp because my girls love this stuff. So anytime my husband and I have regular shrimp, this is what I give them because they would prefer this. They don't like the red shrimp if it's not breaded, but they will eat it if it's breaded. These are on sale for $4.99. I wonder if I get these if my girls will eat it. Do they taste funny? The ingredients are not bad. Textured wheat protein. Hmm. I'm gonna give it a 
try because they're on sale. And let's just pray for the best. Yay, happy eggs are on sale. Yay. All right, so let me just check out. I'm going to get uh, three cartons because we have been going through a lot of eggs lately. The girls like hard boiled eggs, and then I eat two eggs a day. My husband eats two eggs. So, ooh, the carry gold's on sale. I hardly ever see it on sale here. Well, I mean, it does go on sale sometimes. This is a really good sale because if you buy four of these here, it's the same price as Costco at the sale price. So three times four is $12, or usually $12.99 at Costco. So, and then also the spreadable butter, but that's only eight ounces. This is the equivalent of one of these is the equivalent of one of these, but it's cheaper to just get this. See what I'm saying? You follow me? So let me go ahead and get this. Boy, it's a big haul for you. That's everything for the week. And then, so I decided while I'm waiting because the line is kind of slowed up. So we're gonna have the chili tonight. We'll probably have spaghetti this week. We'll have tacos. Chili for two nights, spaghetti for one night. That's three. Tacos is four. And then it'll just be like whatever's left over for five. And then I'll be off on Friday night and Saturday night. Hey, so that's the plan for this week. All right, y'all see my card. I want you to guess now. Start putting your guesses in now how much I spent here at Kroger. All right, I am at Sherwin Williams now, which is right on the corner, thankfully, from the Kroger that I went to. And I'm going to pick up the paint because I'm about to paint my office next week. I'm so excited. So let me go ahead and pick those up and then we'll get home and then I'll show you everything we got. A few moments later. Well, never mind. Sherwin Williams is closing in two minutes. So I had no idea or else I wouldn't have stopped, but they open at seven tomorrow. So I'll probably just come back tomorrow and I'll film a separate video on that because I need to go to Home Depot as well. <sighs> it's hard with digital learning though because I like to get up really early and go, but the girls really need me during the digital learning, especially the days they have tests because I have to make sure that they access the Google Classroom form right and all that. So, all right, let me focus. All right, y'all, everything's been disinfected. I'm home. Did you guess in the comments, okay? Now, before I share with you what we got, let me just say this, and, and this is no shade to anybody who works for the Kroger organization. If you work at Kroger, this is not an attack on you personally. This is just my experience at Kroger. Kroger is so much cheaper than Publix, but the experience at Kroger is just not the same as Publix. The customer service at Publix is just so nice. People are willing to help you. There's always somebody to bag your groceries. The cashiers are a lot nicer in my experience. Now, Kroger is like, you're on your own. You're bagging your own stuff. You're getting it. It's almost like, you know, Chick-fil-A and how they're like, it's our pleasure to serve you all the time and McDonald's where it's like, what do you want? Again, no shade, this is just my personal experience. So it's like, I will deal with Kroger, you know, as we've been trying to save money with our grocery bill, with our grocery bill getting crazy. All this stuff I know would have been two, three times the price at Publix. I keep that in my mind as I'm shopping at Kroger. Plus my Kroger is really big. It's like a Walmart. It's like huge. It's like a super Kroger. So my experience today wasn't as stellar as I feel like it would have been if I went to Publix, but I spent half the money. So let me share with you what I got. I got three pounds of ground turkey. I'm going to do half of this for the chili and the other half will maybe be for the tacos. My parents are here and they'll be eating dinner with us. I got two packs of apple with smoked bacon, regular bacon. I got two packs of turkey bacon that my parents like to eat. I got some turkey hot dogs for my parents. I got regular hot dogs for Charles and the girls. These little beef smokies. Oh, some sauerkraut for my parents. Smoked turkey sausage for my parents. Smoked turkey butt if I make some more green beans. I'm going to go get a lot more fresh produce when I go to Aldi. I got this cookie decorating kit that I'd like to do with my girls probably next week. I stocked up on the spaghetti. These were $1 each. So two bags, two boxes of spaghetti and then two boxes of the elbow macaroni because I probably will use this for Christmas brunch. We'll probably have um, macaroni and cheese. I got my mom some low sodium tortillas. I got some more Lily's bacon chips girl because they were on sale. And so I had to stock up on them because I love these. These were five for $5. My girls really like the pretzel and Ava likes these uh, pink princess cheddar ones. So got those. I got four boxes of Jiffy Cornbread because I'll probably make two boxes tonight with the chili. My mom, some low sodium barbecue chips, some regular barbecue chips, some pretzel sticks, a bell pepper, uh, red and green, two packs of butter, some light brown, brown sugar because I was getting low on the one I had, two cans of biscuits, 
cheddar cheese, Mexican blend cheese, these frozen chicken tenders, I'm hoping my girls will like some plain bagels, some steakums, because I'm gonna have steakums tonight because I can't eat the chili because I'm keto. Uh, Zara doesn't like chili either, so we'll both have steakums. Some more, or if she wants popcorn shrimp, she can have that too. Some popcorn shrimp family size, because my girls really like these, and every time we have shrimp, this is what they eat. Some more grape jelly, tuna. Then I got two things of tomato paste, no, three containers of tomato paste, some tomato sauce for the chili, sliced black olives for Zara, light red kidney beans for the chili, petite diced tomatoes for the chili, some tomato sauce, uh, basil, garlic, and oregano. I like to add this to the marinara sauce. And I got two of these classicos that were on sale. I showed you guys that in the store. And then I got two of these. Of course, I got myself some more blue cheese, some milk, two hot dog um, bun rolls, some organic strawberries, three dozen eggs. I love these happy eggs. My mom, some low sodium honey wheat bread and an apple pie for dessert for my family for tonight. I won't be partaking in that. And some Oreos. Now, that is what I got. Now, all of your guesses down below, okay? I spent a total of, there was 178 when I, when I recorded it with my camera, but that was before all the Kroger Plus deductions. And after the Kroger Plus deductions, I spent $164. That is cheap, right? Because I got, because you know, bacon is expensive now. I got four packs of bacon, two turkey, two regular. I got the three pound pack of a ground turkey i got the smoke the little smokies i got two packs of hot dogs and the smoked turkey sausage and some smoked turkey tails what? so i think i did good you know kroger eh, customer service isn't always there for me but the prices are popping so i'm gonna go ahead and get the chili ready get everything put away czar has a test tomorrow on in science so we need to sit down and review and study for that and then i need to plan out my day my morning today's been a good productive day all right i'm starting my chili here got some olive oil in here i have onion half of a green bell pepper half of a red bell pepper okay now i'm gonna get ready to add my ground turkey and seasoning oh it smells so good y'all so i put the ground turkey in it's about a pound and a half half of the three pound pack we just bought at the grocery store. I seasoned it with about two tablespoons of chili powder, two tablespoons of cumin, I'm just guessing here, garlic, salt and pepper. It smells really good. Like I can just scoop this up right now and eat it. <laughs> so I'm now just browning this. I'm gonna add some sugar too, probably about two tablespoons, three maybe of sugar. We like our stuff sweeter. Again, I'm not eating this, but I will taste the meat before I add everything else. All right, I added, added a can of petite diced tomatoes with their juice. I added about a cup and a half of beef broth, but I only had a cup left, so I just added one cup of beef broth and then a half a cup of water. Just gotta use work what we got. Added a small can of tomato sauce. This is an eight ounce can. It tastes good too, I tasted a little bit of it. And one can of light red kidney beans, so I'll let this simmer for a little bit. All right, I used about half a can of this tomato paste. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of this tomato paste. We don't need any more. Can I save it in the can and put it in the fridge? for when we have spaghetti later on this week. So now I'm just gonna let this thicken, simmer 30 minutes or so, make my cornbread, dinner is done. I'm gonna let my chili rest, it tastes really good. I tasted it with the spoon. Just gonna let it rest for a little bit and then probably about 20 minutes or so, I'm just gonna simmer it so I'm like uh, in between medium and low. And so I'm gonna make my dinner now. How cute is Zara? Um, she pretends like she has a YouTube channel. She's um, teaching everybody how to um, cook the cornbread muffins. So she makes these all by herself. I can't if I showed you the chili, I, I think I did. And I said that I were just uh, simmering it. Anyway, dinner was a huge success. I ate mine, they ate theirs, it was all good. So now I need to get some work done. I have actually got to upload this week's Sunday setup. I'm late. <laughs> I should have planned it yesterday, but I'm gonna quickly upload that. Then I'm gonna plan out my week. All right, y'all, I got my planning done. I uploaded today's video. I just need to promote it on Instagram, and boom, your girl is donezo. I'm so happy. Um, I felt like today was really productive. Um, I like to feel that way at the end of the day. Tomorrow I'm getting up early. I've, I've scheduled out my day, and then I planned out Tuesday and Wednesday, like the top three things I wanna get done on Monday and Tuesday. And then I kinda leave it open and we'll start uh, Wednesday uh, tomorrow, just depending on like the things that I get done. So that has been working for me lately. Digital learning is still a struggle for us and it's still a struggle for me trying to balance learning, doing homework and working. It is not easy. So I know many of you guys 
are dealing with the same thing. Girl, just hang in there, hang in there. All right, as you can see, my office is empty. We are still working on my office. I'm really, really excited about that. We're getting ready to paint. Like you knew, I, ha I went to go pick up the paint from Sharon Williams because we posted some samples on there. We picked what we we're gonna get and I cannot wait to have the big reveal on my channel. And I'm gonna do it during Vlogmas. So, amen, God is good, y'all. I just wanna give God some praise because honestly, he, he's moving me to be more productive. I have a lot of things that I wanna do for next year and I've been having these aha moments lately and I'll be sharing with them with you about what's gonna work for me, what I'm doing differently for goal setting this year, and um, how I plan implementation, because that's always been my downfall is implementation. I get overwhelmed with that, so I'm gonna talk about that. And that's it, y'all. I'm going to bed early so I can get up early tomorrow. So leave a comment down below and let me go, how are y'all feeling? I know sometimes this can be a time of year where it can be very stressful and you can get kind of depressed and stuff like that. I want to be some light in your life and encouragement and know that God is there for you. He's there for you and he can lift you up when you're down. So I just pray that um, you all are safe and that you all are healthy and that you all are happy and just know that you're doing the best you can because um, that's all we can do. So grant yourself grace, all right? So I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. It really helps my channel out. I appreciate y'all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.